In this morning's Health Watch, are weight loss drugs safe? An FDA advisory panel votes today on a new diet drug. And after a split vote yesterday on a proposal to pull Meridia off the market because of evidence that it may increase heart attacks and strokes, here with uh, the latest on all of this is our Dr. Jennifer Ashton. All right, first, f can we talk about Meridia yeah. first? What, now, what do we know about that? Because there's new information about so, it. So, first of all, Harry, when you talk about a weight loss medication, the first rule in medicine always is do, do no, no harm. harm. Exactly. So, especially with this population, the obese, the overweight, they are already a population at risk, as we know. All kinds of stuff. For heart disease, stroke, mm -hmm. and such. So, when you look at a drug like Meridia, the question then becomes risk versus benefit right. and so a recent study published in the New England Journal of Medicine actually found that patients who took the drug lost an average of 8.8 pounds okay. which is modest to say the least mm -hmm. because remember we're talking about people, people who may have 50 pounds yeah, or more right. to lose and concerningly they found that they were at a 16 percent increased risk for heart attack, right. stroke, and death, and these were even in young people. Right. So that's what the panel was looking at. Do the benefits outweigh the risks? And the FDA has to make an, a, a decision there. That's a correct. Determination about, the, they have to weigh this. Is there any indication about which way they're gonna go? Well, again, the, as you said, the vote was split. Mm -hmm. Actually, eight voted against it, eight voted that it should stay on the market. It's very difficult to pull a drug from the market once it's already uh, been approved. Okay. So they're going to be looking All at right. that. Now, what are these other ones? I, really, I honestly can't. Lorcus and... <laughs> right. They're hard to pronounce. They're tongue twisters. There are three drugs that are kind of in the pipeline. We heard a little bit about them a few months ago. The first one is a drug called Lorcaserin. Uh -huh. And... What they're going to be looking at again, their safety and mm. their efficacy. Cunexa, they already voted to reject it. Right. Or Casserin, they'll be the panel will be deciding today, and the mm. FDA will decide later. And the last one is called Contrave. The decision for that will be made in December. Huh? Uh, I, obesity is, is an epidemic. Right. It's a gigantic problem in the country. If something like this is out there and it's actually going to address it, it really would be a big deal. Well, listen, we know that there is no quick fix. There's no magic bullet. Again, this is not for people who lose, have, want to lose 5 or 10 pounds. This is for the morbidly obese, mm. the people whose lives are put at risk because of their obesity. So, again, you have to consider everything, surgery, medication, diet, exercise, all of those factors come into play. Dr. Jennifer Ashton, as always, thank you very you much.